the Indian Navy is leading the largest ever coastal defense exercise known as Sea Vigil 2024. We are joined by Rear Admiral R.K. Dingra. Sir, kindly tell us, like, uh, this is a tri-service exercise also. What are the kind of assets being deployed and a day-night operation for 48 hours? Yes. Uh, while Sea Vigil is essentially a maritime exercise, but we have the participation from the Indian Army and the Indian Air Force also for this particular edition. Uh, the Indian Navy, along with the Coast Guard, the S Coastal uh, Security Group, the Maritime Police, the Fisheries Department, CISF will be working towards the maritime defense, which includes ensuring that our shores are safe. We also have the Air Force, which will be there to help us in carrying out any strike homing over the sea, if required. And the Indian Army would be giving us cover over the land in case of an intrusion, which happens uh, through the sea route onto the land. This is a real-world appraisal of India's capabilities, right, in coastal defense. So how is it carried out? Is there a sort of simulated intrusion that happens? Yes. Uh, obviously, this being an exercise, we need to play both the sides, the good side and the bad side. So we have a blue force, the good force, the maritime security force, and a red force, which works as the intrusion force. Uh, both the units have been given their respective taskings. The red force, in these two days, would be carrying out various simulated attacks whether it is physical landing ashore or carrying out a hijacking drill or carrying out an intrusion drill. As also, once they land ashore, carrying out nuisance value uh, activities. Whereas the blue force, which has been deployed all along the coastline, they would be responsible to ensure that before this attack can actually emanate or can reach the land, that needs to be neutralized. So after this kind of a massive exercise, there will be a lot of lessons learned, strengths, weaknesses, shortcomings. What do you do with this input and how does this uh, you know, come to use for bolstering India's coastal defence? Well, each edition has provided us with some valuable inputs which have been taken on and they have helped us augment the maritime defence of the nation. Uh, certain first times that are happening for this particular exercise include uh, examining the uninhabited islands of Rameshwaram which had been lying vacant for quite some time. We are carrying out a validation procedure for the SOPs. The setting up of the SJOC, which is happening for the first time with active participation with all the stakeholders. These are all the inputs that come in. In terms of infrastructure, whether it is now a requirement for rigging up the coastal defense, coastal radar chain, or any other war watching organization that needs to be set up, everything would be collated. And at the debrief level, this would be uh, taken up with the higher authorities and necessary sanctions would be obtained to augment the infrastructure. So fishermen are a crucial part of our coastal defence strategy. So how are uh, we hand-holding them so that you know the forces and the fishermen can work together in safeguarding our coast? I think we've always been working very closely with the fishermen. The fishermen have always been known as the eyes and ears of the maritime security construct. And towards this end, uh, not only during the course of the exercise, even during the normal day-to-day -day, uh, activities, we rely a lot on the fishermen, whether it is their inputs which come in handy in case uh, there is something that is happening at sea which is not of the ordinary uh, situation, or in terms of any activities which they notice in their own fishing community or fishing village, they are amongst the first ones to tell us. And through their assistance, we've been able to nab so many of these illegal activities or prevent activities from happening uh, and before they become a nuisance for us. Thank you. Thank you. So that was Rear Admiral R.K. Dingra telling us that uh, the exercise Sea Vigil 2024 will provide immense lessons for India's national security apparatus to further bolster India's maritime security and coastal defence. From Chennai, Siddharth MP, we on World is One.